Right, we've got these two bearings in, so the next job is to fit the uh, cam plate uh, and the uh, butterfly quadrant that runs on it together with the plunger and spring. Okay, um, so these need to be fitted before anything else because they can't be fitted after you've put uh, other parts in. Very important, you can't fit those after you've fitted the sleeve gear and the main bearing. So they need to be done first. Uh, we need to check that these uh, bushes are okay. In our case, we know they're okay because they came with the new casing. Oh, also note that I've just fitted the um, new studs. I left them off while we fitted the bearings in case they got in the way a bit. But now the now the bearings are fitted. I fitted the studs and the dowels uh, to take the inner or central casing. Yeah. So just note where these bushes go. Come on, focus, please. Hello. There we go. They line up just uh, along with the sort of inner edge, inner machined edge of the um, casing. Uh, so they therefore protrude. I suppose about a sixteenth, eighth an inch inside the casing. But we know they're okay on our, in our case because uh, they're okay yeah, because they're new. So we're going to fit these. Uh, as I fit them, I'm go I've got a little paintbrush and I'm going to be uh, smearing everything with uh, gearbox oil as I assemble it. So everything is is pre-oiled. I won't use um, engine. Uh, where is this uh, engine assembly uh, lube, which I will be doing. I will be doing on the engine um, because the gearbox there's oil swishing about all the time it's okay for the for the engine when we rebuild that it will be dry inside and uh, so uh, if we used ordinary engine oil it would slowly it would slowly disappear from all the journals and that it would slowly work its way down into the sump leaving the journals and that without any oil on so that's why we use assembly you lube in the engine but we don't need it in the gearbox because that will be filled with oil straight away and so it'll be sloshing around will be okay just to make sure that all the bushes and that are oiled as we assemble them right so i'm going to um put some lube on and then we'll put the um cam plate and the uh, quadrant in uh, uh, there's also a little rubber seal that goes uh, on the back of uh, oil seal o-ring seal that goes on the back of each of these uh, bushes okay uh, and obviously this plate needs to be set in exactly the right place and we'll come on to that when i've oiled the bushes and that we'll, we'll look at that oh and this is the uh, the plunger we'll look at all this i'm just going to put the do the oiling and then we'll come back and do the assembly okay uh, i'm going to try and assemble the quadrant now i've got the camera like in front of me so it's a bit awkward, but I think you'll probably be able to see better. So the first thing we do, we have the butterfly quadrant. <clears throat> and we have to put that in first. And this goes in the outermost bush. Okay, so that just, uh, just we've oiled everything. And that just slots in there. And then we line the inside edge with the middle of that uh, um, stud okay so that that should be the right place then <coughs> excuse me we've got the quadrant now uh, on the these grooves are where the um, the forks the selector forks fit you see those spigots there they fit inside these grooves and when the cam plate turns then those forks go through the grooves and, and, and it moves the forks and that moves the gears forwards. And that's what actually selects the gears. On the outside of the cam plate, you've got these dents and those little dents are uh, for the gears. So you've got first gear, neutral, second, third, fourth. And you've got the plunger here, which we're going to put in the middle, in, in, in a minute. And that holds, so when you change gear, it like that's in fourth gear then you change the third and it locks it in gear and down to second 
a little nudge into neutral, hopefully. <laughs> and then tsh, down into first. And then a little nudge mm, back up to neutral. Okay. And this uh, plunger has got a spring underneath it. Okay. And it will, I'll put a bit of oil in. It doesn't really need it. I think it'll just come out. But um, it, I'll put some oil in it anyway, just to make sure it's happy. Okay. And um, so this plunger fits in the bottom of the gearbox here. And I'm just going to screw it in a little way to begin with. And you see it sticks out here. And that runs on the edge of the cam plate. So what we're going to do now with the cam plate, we're going to select fourth gear, top gear. So that's that notch there. Okay. And we're going to put the bike in fourth gear basically so so the plunger tip of the plunger should be in that little notch there so I'm going to put that and that goes in the second uh, bush and just let it in until uh, engage with the plunger I'll just tighten the plunger slightly right hmm. I think that might have moved I'm not sure. I don't think that's quite right. I think as we put it in, it's moved slightly. So you can see the, you see that's not quite in line with the, uh, with that um, spigot anymore. So I'm going to move that, disengage. There. Yeah, it was, it was one tooth out, so I disengaged it where the two engaged there, and yeah, pretty sure that's uh, that's how we want it. Um, so we've in fourth gear on the cam plate, and the inner radius of the quadrant in line with the centre of that stud, and so that is properly indexed. I just tighten up the. Uh, plunger a little bit to stop things wobbling around. I'm not going to overdo it for now because um, I want to be able to turn the gearbox by hand and if that plunger is too tight I won't be able to. So later on I'll be operating the gearbox and going through the gears to check that all gears select. Okay so there we are cam plate and quadrant and what we're going to do now is we're going to put the uh, bolt them in now they're in the right place uh, with their little o-ring seals on top okay we're going to take these little oil seals and just put them around the uh, quadrant uh, sorry the uh, cam plate bush there and around the quadrant bush there let's make sure they're seated there we go and then I'm just making sure the cam plate doesn't drop into the gearbox and just do these two little uh, ones up Whitworth. So I've done those. Uh, I've done these two nuts up. I'll probably do them up tighter when the gearbox is together. Um, but uh, tight enough, I should be able to now turn the cam plate. Let's have a look. I'm in fourth down to third so that's engaging there and the quadrant is moving around then second neutral and last of all first and the quadrant is now right down the bottom and we're in the bottom the last groove then back up neutral first uh, second rather 
third and fourth and we've got that inner radius in line with that uh, stud so there we are that's indexed now and uh, so we can start actually start putting the gears in the gearbox and the first thing we'll do is to put the sleeve gear the high gear through the main bearing 